Also here tonight, Louisiana Senator John Kennedy. I mean, Senator Kennedy, first, they don't want you to go to prison. And then when you do go to prison for a heinous crime, they want to make it as cushy and as favorable as possible. Why do you think they want to do that? Because they're woke. Um, with respect to crime, I would rather be forced to, uh, to listen to OJ jokes for the rest of eternity than to take the advice of President Biden or Governor Newsom. They're both nauseously woke and one of the cardinal tenets of wokeism is that the criminal is the victim. The victim isn't the victim. The criminal is the victim. Wokers believe that uh, no one should have to accept responsibility. They believe that it's always someone else's fault. And their motto is, um, hear no evil, see no evil, prosecute no evil. Now, fortunately, most Americans, it, at least those who have uh, the IQ uh, 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 above a sloth, understand that's not the way the real world works. Uh, most Americans understand that, unfortunately, and for whatever reason, there are some people in our society, Jesse, who are not sick, they're not confused, they're not mixed up. It's not that their mama or daddy didn't love them enough. They're just bad, or at least they do very bad things. And that's why we have to have prisons. And with respect to those people who say, oh my gosh, I'm in prison, isn't this terrible? I, I would say, look, if you don't want to go to prison, don't do illegal stuff. But the corollary to that is, what you allow is what will continue. Right. And if you do do really bad stuff, we have to send folks like that anti-society to prison. Otherwise, uh, you're just going to get more of the same. A and unfortunately, I hate to, I'm sorry to have to say it, but both President Biden and Governor Newsom have adopted this jaundiced view of reality. When you're at the Senate cafeteria and you guys are drinking the little milks, you know, where you peel it open like that and you're maybe sitting around the table gossiping with some colleagues from the other side of the aisle, do you sense that some of your Democratic colleagues are getting the anger that's erupting across the country about this out of control crime? Or is it just kind of going in one ear and out the other? No, I think they get it. They do. Um, then why aren't they, they doing anything about it uh, uh, or saying anything? There are a variety of reasons. Some of my, I think, some of my Democratic colleagues, well, of course, some of my Democratic colleagues, as is their right, but some of them are woke. Yeah. Other, others are scared of the wokers. Others don't want to cross President Biden. Hmm. Um, they started uh, the, well, they didn't. Some of the wokers started the defund and disrespect the police movement. They tolerated it. President Biden allowed it to happen. And you see the result. It's safer to walk down the streets of Mogadishu than it is to walk down the streets of New York. <laughs> and I've said this before. Chicago and, and to some extent my city in, New or in Louisiana, New Orleans, that I love to death, they've become uh, the world's largest outdoor shooting ranges. What you allow is what will continue. And as long as we allow this, the criminals are not going to be uh, uh, unhappy with this and they're going to keep committing crimes. It's common sense, but you're exactly right. Senator Kennedy, thank you so much for joining Primetime. Thank you, Jesse.